What's up, guys? I'm Tyler. And I'm Brittany. And we are not in the great state of Mississippi no more. <laughs> As you can see behind me back there, we took the truck, we hooked up to the camper, we headed to Florida. So we're out doing a little vacation. We haven't been on one in a long time. It's the first one we've taken with our camper. As you can see, we got our two weenie dogs, Lovey and Freya. I was blanking out. And we got Sage over here, my trusty 10 year old blue healer. <laughs> so we're headed back to the truck now. We got about 50 more miles, 60 more miles to where we're going. And I'm going to show you a lot of fun things on our little vacation, so hang in there. Guys, the wind is going to be terrible, but we wound up at the beach. Check this out behind me. It's beautiful here. All right, guys, we're going in now to try out this restaurant called The Surf Hut. Check it out, guys. We've got dinner with a view. First course is out. We got the gumbo. And we got some cheese, fried cheese. Main course is in. We got some seafood platter. Brittany got a chicken sandwich. Hayden's splitting with me. So we're leaving the Bass Pro Shops and I'm gonna go walk around the side and look at a couple of their boats. Aiden left with, show them what you got there, buddy. Got him a new bass fishing rod. He said that he cannot wait uh, to get back home later and use that on our boat on the river and catch some fish. Now, we're a little out of our depth here for fishing. I did have a trip scheduled tomorrow. The guys already contacted me. The weather is not cooperating, so I'm not gonna be able to go do that. But we'll find something else fun to do. There's a state park, it's got some hiking. I think we're going to visit that. What do you think, Britt? I think so. Okay, this is the future upgrade. It's the, uh, what we got here? 2024, 2072. Like, this is a dream. We're dreaming here, guys. I can fit, I can fit more people in here, and catfishing would be a little easier. I like that it's open concept. Stand the drive. Big and wide so me and Brittany can fish off the front. Then we can imagine back here on the back, we got Joe and Aiden, two chairs, bam. We fit the whole family up here. so far uh we are currently about well we're about to experience some really bad weather uh so what a time to be at the beach when we're fighting the thunderstorms and such and uh our fishing trip got canceled because of the bad weather today so we have been out doing some sightseeing so that's when i'll show you guys the uh little dolphin excursion we went and seen or little training they had at the Golfarium. so anyways We'll show you guys that, and uh, now we're gonna go try to find some other things to do while this current rain situation is underway. Um, it's not currently raining, but it's, it's about to start, and we got a high wind. If you look over here out the bay, you can see, I don't know how good it translates, but water's white capping. It's huge, big seas, all that stuff, so. So what do you do when you take your camper on vacation <laughs> and you're planning on going to the beach and doing a lot of beach things, but it's, oh, we're under a tornado <laughs> warning and uh, sitting, look out the window. we're sitting in here. They even, look, we even thought, all right, so we'll just go out and we will like go to do the shopping portion of this couple day trip today since it's raining, right? And we'll do the outdoors things, you know, the next day, which we should be able to do the outdoors things tomorrow. But uh, they started shutting stores down. 
because of the inclement weather and the tornado warning. So basically, we came back, we're inside of our camper, and the wind's laid now. For there for a minute, the camper was kind of rocking, and uh, I was like, I think the wind might get us, but I think we're good now. The storm's passed, but the rain's overnight. Tomorrow, guys, we're gonna be able to go to a couple state parks and check out some beaches. But the weather ain't cooperating for beach weather, so I'll take you guys out to dinner here in a little bit. We'll try out a little local, well, a local restaurant, I guess. A restaurant, we'll find one. Look, they had a bunch of music going in there, so I couldn't do a lot of recording. But uh, 10 out of 10, I would not recommend that place. What you got to say, Britt? Yeah, that was not good. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Don't go to Joe's Crab Shack. Do whatever you want. Them shrimp tasted horrible. I can do them way better. Comment below if you want me to show you guys how to make some good shrimp on the channel, because that ain't it. like that we're back at the house and i gotta tell you i'm taking you over to the garden we're heading that way right now i want to tell you guys that we had fun we can't forget that but it's not the trip that we had planned one it was supposed to be pretty much warm right i mean we're, we're talking 75 to 80 and that's what it was supposed to be and we were supposed to be you know being able to go out and do some things on the beach right well, you can't predict weather. We planned the trip months in advance and the wind was blowing 20 and gusting up to 45 all three days. It was wild. I tried going in a couple places recording a different, couple different things that we did do, but everywhere you go, man, they have music playing. And I get copyright inf infringement if I do any of that. So I, I couldn't, you know, I cut a lot of stuff because they wouldn't stop playing music everywhere. And I uh, don't want to be taking anybody's stuff no more than I want people taking mine. So, you know, I understand. But uh, let me show you the garden, and we'll close this puppy out. Been gone for four days, and I have noticed that the uh, broccoli's looking good. we got cabbages looking good. I got to do a little bit of weeding through the onions there, and the peas are starting to run. Let's go over here and show you guys how this trellis system's going to work out. Check it out, starting to grow and go. 
got little feelers here starting to grab things and they'll wind up going all the way up here probably hard to tell much about it there but you can see one two three four five and six rows of corn all up and they are in the neighborhood of about two and a half to three inches tall at the moment back to normal sawmill work first of the week got a video coming up yeah uh, I got a video coming up with some normal solving the footage and stuff that you were used to seeing from us. But I want to take you along for the little adventure we had. I wish I could have got way more stuff. We had, I mean, I think Britt was disappointed with the amount of beach time that we got. <laughs> but it's so windy and cool. Every time we went out there, she was like, I need a jacket. And this is not the time to be at a beach. So it kind of stunk on that end. But we had fun. We got to go do some fun stuff. Got to show you the uh go-karts and the dolphins and all the different stuff we've seen and done there was a lot more like i said i had to edit out everything that had a bunch of sound in it you know from people's music but anyway that's gonna do it for this one what we got miss brit uh we got our patreon our instagram and our merchandise and everything will be down in the link below in the description in the description check it out guys over at patreon they already had a little insight so if you want a little quicker insight into what we're doing and going every day add over to patreon link in the description below i'll tag it in the top comment that's it though until next time see ya bam